think the most important decision that we all make in life is, is it about me or is it about someone else? It's a very hard thing because it's, we're a very me place. And there are moments that you get entertained and it's great to be entertained by a film. It's great to say, well, I'm smarter today because of the film. I always question the, 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 validity of, the validity of something, or the profundity of something, based on did it change your actions? Did you act differently because of this? I would hope that because of something like this, people fundamentally act differently. They treat a person a different way, that they change their behavior, they change their, their giving process. Um, something comes out of it, and that's what is the greatest hope of anything that we all do, that we change the world not just kind of entertain ourselves and make ourselves feel better. How long I go back? Over 10 years ago, uh, when this unusual artistic dude shows up on a life mission to help people not be invisible, right? While also on a journey to master his own invisibility. In a, in a unique kind of way. And uh, we were working in the same space. Uh, we were working with folks who were uh, very low income. Most would call that poor. I don't like the word poor attached to a person. Hal was insistent that we were going to do homelessness. We were going to tackle homelessness. And we were going to work with people who didn't have homes. So, as Hal is, typically what house is as a way of coming to pass. So every Thursday for the last 18 months, I've been sitting on the corner of Dawson and Malcolm X, handing out a bottle of water to homeless friends and just shooting the breeze. And so Rollins, Mike Rollins, probably did more in a short period of time for homeless people than anybody in the history of the city in the public sector. Um, and it was during all, it was all during that time as this was kind of unfolding. And then Mike became the mayor and continues to be very, very concerned about poverty, homelessness and, and otherwise. It was in that, you know, kind of in that context that um, Hal was doing his thing. Uh, it was in that context that I came down here. I mean, I, I actually was uh, here a, a bit before that. If you can't hang a picture on the wall by your bed, you don't have a home. You got something else, but it's not a home. You got to control your space. That's why your friend in the water tower did what he did. He knew he couldn't live on the street and he didn't have a unit, so he made him a unit. <laughs> Everybody wants. Everyone wants a place. There'd be no way to overestimate the importance of art, period. Everyone has an affinity for something beautiful. And that's, that's another way we sell ourselves and our friends short who don't have much. We assume that people who deal with poverty don't enjoy beauty. And that's ridiculous. The fame and the publicity, um, going from anonymity to fame and publicity uh, for anybody is a journey. Uh, I just want to make sure it's a safe journey because some, some people don't make it along that road very well. Others do just fine. Uh, so maybe a Sherpa along the way can help. That would be the, literally the only, only concern because, as I say, moving from anonymity to fame, um, even at a very local level, changes people.
For as many homeless as there are, there are that many stories. And they're, they're very interesting stories. So often in my world, uh, this business or, or the like, we all want to kind of be the same. And suddenly there's a group of individuals that are so different from us, uh, and, but yet in many ways they're the same. And understanding that, that nuance was, uh, was really uh, revealing uh, uh, not only about the homeless population, but how I was as a leader. Uh, because I was trying to do substantive, systemic, uh, catalytic changes in the city. But they were very personal. And, and you didn't, you didn't, uh, uh, you weren't successful unless you understood the personal issues of everybody because choice was such an important part of it. Um, and, and that's a very difficult nuance to have. We, we created policies and I'm very proud of that. We passed bond elections, we built things, we hired people. But underneath this was, uh, was a human element that uh, taught me a lot about uh, myself. Finally, I snapped out of it. And I got back, you know, got my spirit back. Because some of you I know, the homes now, you go by them and they want to crack jokes, but when you're skating down the road and you see people that don't know you, they're just going, yes! And I go into, I go into the supermarket, and you have a group of different people going, walking by you, the, the sophisticated ones that you don't, you know, you don't think will say anything. Come and tell me. They, they say nice things, the kid. And now it's gonna get hot now. That's it, the sun's being hot. Shut up, bird. Yeah, so I'm gonna come out.